So this is where we are in the county of Hill Wave. What's going on guys? We are still, or I am still up here at Southside Polaris. Me and Bruce Sr. are actually gonna be going riding. I don't ask me where we're going, I have no idea. Bruce said come up, we'll get some riding in. So we're actually taking two of his sleds that are here. One is this teal and it, me and Bruce Jr. are just talking about it. In pictures, this doesn't look teal and I'll try and get the best angle. Like it looks blue, but it's very teal. So this is a, a Matrix 850, I believe it's a 129 with an inch and a half. And then we're taking, and I'm excited about this one. This is a 650, which I've never ridden, 129 with a Cobra on it. This is Bruce's baby. He's got a lot of time and stuff and in the shocks of this, which I'll have him talk about when we're uh, in the truck driving up. But uh, so we're taking these two babies and we're going to put some miles on. So I'm going to throw them in the trailer. Uh, we just got belt deflection set, oil all filled up, and uh, we're going to go and I'm going to go put some miles on these. So I really want to get a good color, you know, a good shot of this color for you guys. It's unbelievable. So, but that's what we're doing. Bruno's at home. I'm not worried about him. I'm going to go and uh, get some miles on with Bruce Sr. So guys, if you don't know, these sleds do take fuel to run on. And if you forget to fill them up, you got to go on the gas station. So we got to the parking lot of where we were going and then uh, realized that we were talking so much that we forgot to stop and get fuel. So here we are. So we're actually riding in Woodbury, Vermont. Woodbury, right? Woodford. Woodford. <laughs> See? Shows how much I know. So I just found out where we were going on the way to go ride. So Woodford, Vermont. Uh, it's on like the backside of Mount Snow. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna take these things out and go bounce around. Probably get something to eat at Mount Snow. Possibly, not sure. Uh, Mount Snow, Mexico. As if you guys are wondering. So stay tuned. almost a little violent in those fronts though. My fronts are... Uh, yeah, I, and I didn't do anything with those. Oh, those are... Okay, that makes sense for that.
We can be able to do it, but it's not, it's too long. Yeah. yeah. That sucks. That's a bummer. Yeah.
was me and Bruce just bombing around uh, Vermont and having a good time and trying some sleds out and messing with some suspension. But I wanted to go over the 650 and it's not going to be super long because I don't have too much to say about it. Other than I am super impressed with the power and the pull out of that little 650. And I know it's a smaller CC and I know guys have said that it's similar to an 800 pull and I would, I would stand behind that and I would say that it is definitely close to an 800 pull. Uh, it's a little high revving, high wound up little motor and corner to corner stuff and like tighter trails you're never you can't even use with you know the 650 power never mind the 850 power so i am very blown away i'm super excited that i got a chance to try one so again shout out to bruce but i would i would recommend that i mean if you're not doing super super long you know top speed pulls all the time that 650 is going to be right up your alley it is quick reacting granted bruce did a couple things to clutching just to make it a little bit more snappy a little bit higher revving but it was extremely fun to ride it did everything that i needed it to do you know and i think the only place that you would lose anything is on you know super long runs you know going up against an 850 which if that's what you're looking for then you go 850 but overall oh uh opinion of it it's a bad a little motor and uh i would love to ride it a little bit more and and get used to it and maybe take it to like tug hill and <clears throat> and you know run it wide open for a little while and see what it's got it's probably got some legs just not an 850 legs so that's really my overview of the 650 it's i highly recommend it i think it's a sweet little motor and and that's about it so on to bruce's suspension that i talked about a little bit in the beginning so that was just a vr1 but the shocks off that were from a 21 xcr so it had your high loads high low speed compression it had two you know two inch body shocks a little bit stiff or a little bit bigger shaft i believe and bruce put a lot of time and effort into those things and they were so plush and i'm excited because that is what's going to be coming on next year's matrix xcr so anyone that is getting you know a matrix matrix xcr that's what you guys are going to have and granted yes again bruce redid them and put some special sauce in them but you know if you want what bruce runs and i that setup i would recommend to anyone i would recommend that setup to you know grandpa bill that's you know 75 80 years old that's going out and riding because it was so plush in everywhere but if you hit something big it didn't bottom so he really hit the nail on the head with that one. It was a joy to ride. It really was. And then the other one, the teal sled, we thought it, or Bruce thought it had a couple things into it. And then we both didn't like it. Turns out he only redid the rear shock in that one and nothing else. And it had softer torsions in it, which we thought it had the heavy duty ones. And uh, we didn't like that. So by the time I was leaving on Sunday, he already had that sled in the shop, torn apart and going through it. And that's how he found out everything. So he reworked that, went back out and was like, wow, that was night and day difference. So I know a lot of guys don't want to do it because it's extra work. And it's like, well, I just spent, you know, 16,000 plus on a sled. Why do I have to take the suspension out and, and do it? And I've said it in earlier videos, Polaris, and I mean, for all manufacturers, for that matter of fact, they try and reach this ginormous variety of people and they try to make everyone happy and it's 110 percent impossible to do that and i think they do a great job of reaching a huge puddle of people but you can't do everyone so uh it's worth it to take the shocks out and and send them to bruce um i trust him i trust everything you know that he his his knowledge of shocks is just through the roof and and I hope to pick up on some of what he has and I feel like I'm pretty good, but nowhere near, you know, the knowledge that Bruce has. So if you guys are thinking about wanting shocks done, reach out to them, talk to Bruce, you know, say, Hey, I want X, Y, Z, or I want ABC and he'll be able to, you know, help you guys out and, and kind of build you a set catered to your needs, your weight, your riding style, everything like that. So I'm excited to rework some shocks next year with him and, and really get it you know, going in, but that's going to do it. Uh, I had a blast riding with Bruce. What a seriously good dude. Uh, the thumbnail that was Mount Snow in the background. 
I'm, I really, really like the Vermont Woodbury trails. They were Woodford. I keep saying Woodbury. I don't know why. Woodford trails, uh, they were uh, one, well-maintained and two, they were, you know, tight and twisty, which I like, you know, I get really bored on the super wide open long stuff. That's not really my cup of tea, but all right. I've already talked way too much on this video and uh, that's it. So make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. If you have any questions, put them down low. I'll be happy to answer them.